Here is how to record a macro for modifying an exported CSV student roster from PowerTeacher and getting it into two other CSV files for using with GradeCam. So I have uh, one open, one version of my export here. And I am going to come over to Tools, Macro, and I'm going to record new macro. Now I'm going to call this one GradeCam for Grades. And I am going to give it a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to save it in my personal macro workbook. I can access it even when I don't have this particular file open. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to start my process. And for this first file, I'm going to select the first two rows. I'm going to delete those. I am going to insert a column between A and B. These are all dummy information, by the way, so don't try to take these and use them. Uh, then I want to take this A column and split it, text to columns, under the data menu, text to columns, and we're going to use delimited by comma, I'm going to finish that. And so this format right here is the file that I want to use if I'm going to transfer grades back into my Power Teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording that macro. Tools, Macro, Stop Recording. And so while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and save this one. And I already have that, so I'm going to just replace it. Now I'm going to make a macro for the rest of the process here. And you could do one macro for that file and then one macro for the whole um, next file. I'm going to record a new macro. And this time I'm going to call it GradeCam or Roster. And this one, it's a different one. Different shortcut. Still in the personal macro workbook. All right, so I'm going to continue where I left off here. I want to truncate the social security number so that I only get the last four digits. So I'm going to use my uh, formula bar. I'm use the right formula. And I take the number that's in cell C1. I get the last four off the right. I hit return, and it shows me the last four. Now, every file I have may not end up uh, with only 30 rows in it. it. may have more. So instead of just copying this down, since I'm recording my macro, I'm just going to pull down for a ways here, just so I make sure I get every class that I might want. All right, so I have those last four digits now. I'm going to select the entire column here and I'm going to copy that column. I'm going to come over to column E and select the whole column there and I'm going to paste special and I'm going to paste values and I'm going to say okay. Sorry my cat's in the background. Okay now I can delete columns C and D. And then I am going to stop the recording of that macro. And then don't forget before you, you close that out, you're going to want to save that version. And this is the one for the rosters.